minute. Hang on a minute. What is attacking me here? Is there like a piranha, underwater piranha that has wiggled through? What am I being chased by? Excuse you. Is this please? I'm a tiger. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, what am I dodging? Oh my goodness. Hello everyone and welcome to Ultimate Jungle Simulator. And it seems like we are currently a beautiful, amazing tiger who is being attacked by something. Wow, there's another big cat over there. Whoa, we're so fast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. What is this thing? Can I jump on it? I want to I want to get up here. Oh my gosh, I can get up here. Okay, I'm like climbing up the side. Wait, is that like a ruin? <gasps> There's ruins in this jungle. Oh, that's so cool. And I got away from whatever was trying to attack me. Can I just like climb up the rest of this, please? Come on. Come on. Almost there. <gasps> Whoa, there is another big cat. All right. So let's settle down over here and it looks like there is a big cat just spinning around in the ground. <laughs> Oh, that's so awesome. There's so many big cats and there's vines and ruins. But yes, hello everyone and welcome to Ultimate Jungle Simulator. And this is indeed another game from Gluten Free Games. And oh my goodness, the man is a powerhouse. Hardly gives me a moment to catch up. Don't worry, we will be returning to Ultimate Four Simulator at some point in the near future, just like Ultimate Fox Simulator. And we haven't even tried Ultimate Savannah Simulator yet. So there is a lot of uh, animal simulation that is going to go down but for now we're here in ultimate jungle simulator and there's all new animals i mean look at them i think those are maybe some i mean what would those be tigers without stripes all right let's check the list guys so i think we are actually a male tiger this time that's going to be interesting am i a male or female uh yeah i think we're the male tiger and we may have to go search out a female and of course once we find the female we may switch over to playing just as her because she would be the one to have the beautiful tiger cubs that we will eventually give birth to and she'll be the one to raise them and just like we did in ultimate forest simulator we will oh look at the big bright bird we will be trying to play out the family groups just like they are built in real life and in real life a male tiger does not stick around to see his cubs the female raises them on her own so hinto here needs to go and look for a lovely lady in just a moment but let's see what animals are available do we have any skills no we're completely a newbie little tiger and i can't believe you started as a tiger that's amazing and let's go ahead and see what uh different animals we could be so there's tiger there's lemur which is so cool we have been to the duke lemur research center before do you guys remember that i did a vlog on it and everything one day i hope to go back there in the future because it is just so fantastic and we would be able to get a chance to see so many more lemurs they're awesome oh my goodness and we even had some lemurs in our zoo vlog from last week as well so be sure to check that out if you want to see some real life lemurs they're really awesome we could be a frog maybe a poison dart frog that would be so cool too and a gorilla oh my goodness you're kidding me that's going to be really cool. Imagine playing as a silverback and having a whole family of gorillas that we could build. This is going to be fantastic, guys. And a parrot. Oh, gosh, he's so cute. Look at his little flap flaps. Oh, my gosh, that's adorable. A leopard. So I wonder if the big cats that I'm seeing wander around are perhaps uh, leopards. Panda! Panda! You guys, we could become a panda. I wonder if they have a bunch of bamboo that they get to eat in here. Oh, my goodness. And a sloth. Oh my gosh, is that going to be like playing the turtle and moving super slow and climbing trees? That sounds so intriguing. An anaconda. You can play as an anaconda. I had no idea. We have a goal now, guys. I love anacondas. I desperately want to play as an anaconda, so we're going to be looking at that. And then a chimpanzee is your top tier animal. But I think a lot of you guys are going to be super excited to start off as the tiger. So let's go ahead and get our adventures with Hinto the tiger up and going. Oh dear. Oh my. That beautiful bird has been eaten. I think this is a lion. It's not really messing with us. So I'm just going to steal the bird that it took out. And then I'm going to step down here and get something to drink. And then we should check out how big this world is. Listen to all those birds. This is so cool. And tigers really love to swim. So we might go swimming with this tiger in a little bit. Look at the vines hanging down from the sky. That's so cool. Oh, there's fish. Can I get the fish? I want to get the fish. I want to get the fish. I want to get the fish. Come back here, fish. All right. 
Did I get him? <gasps> Look at that! Good job, Hinto! We got our first fish! That's so cool! Alright, let's climb up out of here and eat it. That was really awesome. But tigers do love fishing, so it seems like Hinto was ready to go ahead and dive in. And yeah, so how big is our new world? Have you guys explored a lot of it yet? Have you had a chance to play as some of the other animals? Oh my gosh, this is huge. This is so cool. Look how big it is. There's so much to explore, especially as a tiger. Let's get going. Let's start searching. We're going to see what we can find here in the jungle. Oh, is that a bird in the water? <gasps> Are those flamingos? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, what did I just get? I think there's like a macaw I caught while it was bathing in the water. All right, and the flamingos took off for it. Oh my gosh, and there was an iguana. You guys, an iguana. Look at the flamingos. Are those flamingos or spoonbills? They're beautiful. I'm probably gonna eat them. Oh my goodness. Hinto. He was just rolling around on the ground and there's treasure. There's just loot left behind from all of these ancient ruins. This is so cool. Let's see what Hinto finds. A lot of experience. So he is uh, claiming his territory and becoming quite experienced. Male tigers actually roam over quite a large territory, like most of the what we'd consider like the big cats. Can he dig something up, I wonder? Are we going to find anything? Oh my gosh, are those like mice? No, they're like little beetles. Are these what we're attacking us? Do we? Does Hinto have like a, a parasite problem on a regular basis? All right, I'm going to get you. Oh, it's a panda. I can't eat that. They're too rare. It would feel so wrong to eat a panda. But I guess Hinto doesn't care because he's like a tiger. But I'm, I, I just can't bring myself to do it yet, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and eat that. Let's go after the little iguana because he seems to be taking off. I would love to play as an iguana. That actually would be a lot of fun. All right. Down you go, little guy. Down you go. Whoa, did you see that? He's a sassy guy. Fun fact, I once got an iguana stuck in my hair. Long story, actually. Be sure to ask me another day because it was pretty awesome. <laughs> Save that for one of our little Q&A streams because, yeah, that was that was pretty fun when I got an iguana stuck in my hair. And it looks like there's lots of pandas here, which is very uncommon. You normally wouldn't find them sharing a lot of territory because pandas, part of their problem is they have huge territory ranges. And so when it's time to find mates, it can take quite a while. But there should be a den somewhere nearby. So let's see if we can find it. Oh, yeah. And then let me make sure that we have all of the really great stuff turned on high oh oh my you guys <gasps> wow if you can turn on your settings to high holy moly it's like the jungle just <gasps> there's even shafts of sunlight coming down you're kidding me this is so beautiful hinto i'm so excited to see what his journey around here is going to be like this is just so pretty hinto is there food over here is this sloth oh it's not dead sorry sloth this is why you shouldn't end up on the ground my friend uh, it, it it ends pretty quickly for you. The panda's just kind of watching us in question. Wow, yeah, if your guys' devices can handle it, turn those settings up to maximum. There's shafts of sunlight coming on down. Look, and there's some sort of deer creature. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna eat you. Are you like a wilderbeast? Uh, no, I think, is that a frog? Oh my gosh, it's a sloth with algae growing on his back. I thought it was a frog because it was green. And I was going to say that's the biggest frog I have ever seen in my entire life. But it is a green sloth. And you guys may be wondering, what the heck? A green sloth? Well, sloths actually have algae grow in their fur. Um, it's, it's actually very helpful for camouflage. And I think there's some other properties for why algae grows in sloth fur. I'm going to have to look up. So, pixel biologist, if I could have a request from you guys today, I would love to learn a little bit more about the algae in sloth fur. Or maybe about the range size for how big a male tiger's territory could be. Man, this is making me want to go and visit with our tigers in zoo crafting because this is amazing. All right, and night is setting. The stars are coming out. This is amazing and beautiful and I absolutely love it. And we're going to go ahead and see. So like right here, I think on the top of this hill, we're going to ignore the pandas, but I think on the top of the hill, is where we are going to actually run into 
the place we could claim as a den. This is amazing, guys. Wow. Yeah, if you can, I definitely, definitely recommend uh, turning on the settings. This is so cool. Walking around in a jungle like this. Just think about all the things I can teach you guys. I'm so excited. So many things for us to share amongst the community and so many, so many facts we could learn. Oh, my little, my little biologist heart is just pattering so happily. All right. So is this going to be our home? Hinto is a little bit low on energy. Now that he leveled up, do we have more? Yeah, he does have a little more energy. Uh, I'm going to add to the vitality. So he has a little bit more oomph. And then I think, is this it? Let's walk around the other side. Wow, look at this banana leaf plant. Oh, I love you. Oh, this is the best. This is the best. That's okay. I don't need to go anywhere else. I can just, can I just live in this plant, please? Hinto, let me get a good look at you because this is amazing. Hinto. All right, you're going to turn this way, buddy. And a little bit sidestep to the left. And did you guys notice it was just raining in the rainforest? <gasps> That's so cool. Oh, Hinto. He looks so cool. Oh, there we go. There we go. Doing the little tiger roll on the belly action there. He looks like he's pretty happy here. Oh, <gasps> did you hear the howler monkeys? Oh, that's so awesome. I am so happy right now. Okay, enough enough admiring heat, though. We'll go ahead and we'll get moving again. I don't seem to be able to find, like, where the house is. And maybe I shouldn't have climbed up here. Or maybe it's not a house meant for me. Or this may be it. Hello? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Like, at the top of this tree is our den? <gasps> what? This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. I mean, I think tigers climb trees. I'm pretty sure I've seen tigers climb trees. One time I mixed up jaguars and leopards for the climbing of trees and storing of prey in a tree. And I still haven't lived that down. So I'm hesitant to say. But wow. Um, this is amazing. I'm really happy right now. This looks so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Come on, Hinto. So, ah. Uh, Ultimate jungle simulator, you guys. I have to have a little bit more of a freak out over how amazing this is to be able to run around. There's even like a little bit of water falling down. Rainforests are called rainforest for a reason. After all, they do have a lot of moisture, constant rain. One of my favorite things to learn about when I was itty bitty in elementary school is a lot of that rain is caused from the evaporation of the water from the plants condensing into clouds right over the rainforest and just kind of recycling itself right back down into the ground, back into the plants, back into the sky and then it gets really heavy up as clouds in the sky. Next thing you know, it rains and g continues the cycle over and over again. I loved learning about that as a kid. The rainforest was one of my favorite things to study, and it still is. Maybe one day I will go to a rainforest that's not in America. I actually lived in the only temperate rainforest. Well, one of two temperate rainforests in North America for a long time. When I lived in the Appalachian Mountains, which is one of two places in the entire United States that are temperate rainforest. Very cool, but it doesn't look quite like this. Mostly ferns. All right, so that's a really cool den, but I don't think it's going to provide food. And I think Hinto needs to find a good spot where there's lots and lots of food showing up constantly. And uh, is that a panther? Or a jaguar, I should say, because panthers are not, not really real. All right, you know what? We're a male tiger. We've got to go see if we can, we can fight. It's a jaguar, all right. All right, it's a melanistic jaguar. If you look closely, you can see the black spots. It's a pair of them, but they're other big cats, so we've we've got to fight them off. We've got to fight them off and let them know this is my this is my territory now. I'm moving in. I'm gonna be looking for a lovely lady. She's gonna have my wonderful tiger cubs, and hopefully, hopefully everything will work out. So we are going to have to be a little more aggressive. Oh my gosh, and we did just open up the slot. <gasps> we could look for a female tiger. So I think that's going to be Hinto's current quest. And it just hit me an anaconda could jump up out of the water like any second now and take us out. So now I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> knowing that there's anacondas in the game. And I thought the danger noodles in the previous ultimate uh, simulators were a little bit large. But now we really could be in quite a bit of trouble. Oh, that makes all of this water a little bit more ominous. I wonder... <gasps> is that an elephant? Oh my gosh. We're going to have a good time. I'm excited. 
But all right, so we have met Hinto. We have freaked out because plants, <gasps> plants everywhere. Oh, look at the vines that are hanging down. And I do love, 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 love studying the rainforest. So I have a wonderful feeling. Uh, is that, is that elephant? What happened? You didn't, oh, he's sleeping. All right, and this looks like a small Asian elephant. I don't think I want, what happens if I poke him? Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I really would never be happy about this in real life. Thankfully, you are you are an elephant that is not real. So I'm gonna console myself with this fact, and I'm gonna say Hinto just needs his food. I'm so sorry, elephant. So sorry. It's just the circle of life. Oh dear. I suppose that's true. <laughs> Pretty sure that the lions and lion king may have had some elephants from time to time. Hmm, that went a bit dark, but that is the reality of uh, biology and, like I said, cycle of life. But, yeah, we're going to do some more research and studying about the various animals that we're going to be bumping into, like the difference between African and Asian elephants here in Ultimate Jungle Simulator, so you can get your daily dose of greenery and animal facts here in the Pixel Biology community. Well, uh, we're also going to be uh, keeping an eye out keeping an eye out to try to find some uh, lovely lady that will be able to pair up with Hinto who can have some beautiful tiger cubs. So I'm really looking forward to that. I think this is going to be fun especially because Hinto's current den is like a gigantic tree. I honestly could not ask for the more perfect den. I am in love with that idea even though it's probably not very practical for raising tiger cubs in. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you have any facts about animals or any questions about the jungle creatures that we are going to be bumping into, then be sure to ask and communicate with your other pixel biologist and i shall see you guys next time bye bye